Studies by the Health Ministry show that blood shortage leads to the easily preventable loss of more than 5,000 lives every year. These are primarily children under the age of 5, suffering from malaria, induced anemia, and mothers who experience extreme blood loss during childbirth. In the last few days, Mulago National Referral Hospital and other public hospitals across the country have reported an acute blood shortage, with Ginger Regional Referral Hospital among the most hit, with no single blood unit to give patients in critical condition. We have been experiencing a shortage of blood in uh, major hospitals and health facilities. However, we have, the situation is uh, currently coming to normal. About 12 people are referred every day to Mulago Hospital for blood transfusion. The blood shortage has put many lives at risk, with at least five children dying daily in the Mulago children's ward. The casualty and labor wards have also been severely affected. The health ministry now says a new consignment of blood testing kits that had run out have been procured and are now in the country. The ministry spokesperson, Rukia Nakamate, said efforts are underway to equip Gulu, Arua, Fort Porto, and Kitovo Regional Blood Bank that use a different blood testing technology by Friday next week. In the meantime, arrangements have been made to have their blood tested from Nakasero, Mbale, and Mbara centers. We appeal to the public to remain calm as all all that is necessary is being taken in place to ensure that all regional blood banks uh, receive the, the, the testing kits and reagents. The new consignment of reagents will take the country for a few weeks as two more new consignments are awaited and that will test blood to last about three months. Before blood from a donor is transfused into another person, it's checked for contagious diseases like HIV AIDS and hepatitis B. Zahra Namuli, NBS Television.